Ooh, <laughs> Tell you what guys, it's time for an unboxing. Hi guys, Chris Capture's back again with yet another video on the channel. We're trying to keep these consistent. And today I've got a comic book and manga haul for you guys today. Uh, like you just saw, I've got two boxes and a load of single issues separately that I've already unboxed. This is all stuff that I've had delivered over the, like the last maybe like two weeks that I've just sort of sat on to ready for this video. A lot of it's already been taken out of boxes just to check that it was okay and stuff like that. I have got a couple of faulty ones which I am sending back after I film this video. But yeah, let's just jump right into it, see what we got today. I'm going to start off with some single issue comic books and then we'll get into the boxes which has got some manga and other things in. So first one on top of the pile, I bought off somebody on Facebook. I got Batman issue 700. It's just sort of like a landmark issue. It's got writing from Grant Morrison in there. The main thing that I ordered from this gentleman is Thor issue number nine by Donny Cates. This is the new Thor run. Um, we've just had the Black Winter arc. And this one is the return of Donald Blake, the former identity of uh, Thor himself. He's now returning and is um, sort of like dis the disguise being used by a villain, I believe. So Donald Blake is back. And... More importantly, issue four, want to look at that. That is a variant art issue four by Donny Cates. This is the first cameo of Black Winter, which is a big issue at the moment. A lot of people think Black Winter might be coming back. This is a, a fourth printing, apparently. Didn't realize it's a fourth printing, but still a big issue. I really like this artwork, Loki holding Mjolnir. Up next is one that I bought off ebay from comic book circus on ebay check them out because this has arrived beautifully it arrived very quickly and in perfect condition this is a bit of an older comic book i believe from the 90s early 90s august 94 exactly a year before i was born this is green lantern 54 this if you don't know is it's a bit of a morbid issue, but as a Green Lantern fan and as a fan of literature in general, this is the death of Kyle Rayner's girlfriend. And this is where the term fridging derived from, coined by Gail Simone. So this is kind of a landmark issue. Um, it's not one that a lot of people want, but in terms of what it did for literature and feminism in literature and writing, it, it's a big issue. I wanted to have it because I'm a big um, Green Lantern fan. There you go. Comic book circus on the back. There's the details if you want to go check them out. Thank you very much, guys. They're not not asking me to do that. I just did it. And then on eBay, I was I was sort of like just I went a bit gunko and I was buying a load of bundles and stuff like that. And I got this one. It's quite a large set of books, actually. Like there's probably about four or five books in each of these. Uh, they're not in the best condition, but I bought them for the I bought them for the Green Lantern Emerald Dawn books because, like I said, big Green Lantern fan. And I have got Emerald Dawn too, but I wanted to see if these were in better conditions than the one I had and maybe upgrade the ones that I've got. Turns out they're not as good a quality as the ones that I've got. So I believe this is all Green Lantern in here. I've got a stack of Mr. Miracle in here. We've got a load of books about the Ray here as well. We've got more Firestorm in here, and we have a load of Animal Man books in here as well. The they're not any sort of major keys or anything like that. Like I said, I bought it to sell on some stuff and to try and upgrade my collection. Turns out they're not as good as I thought they were going to be. Next up, hot book at the moment or a couple weeks ago anyway. Truth, Red, White and Black. This is the origin story of Isaiah Bradley. This is part one of five, which we saw obviously in Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Big hard hitting book this. So I picked up... Picked up issue one from a guy on Facebook along with some other stuff. I can't remember what else I got from this. I do remember what else I got from this guy. I got Green Lantern 24, is it? Or 25? I'll, I'll put it on screen now. It was the first appearance of the emotional spectrum and all the other cores. That one is currently off at CGC grading. While I'm talking about CGC, I've sent some other books off from my old collection, but... What would have been in this video, only I've already sent it out, was Venom Lethal Protector, parts 1 through 6. I got the red foil cover. That looked like possibly a 9.8, but I, I'm not I'm not counting my chickens before they've hatched, you know what I mean? So 
hopefully when they come back I'll do a video and you guys can see what they got but they would be in this video but I've already sent them out moving on from that I got a small little ultimate spider-man um, run this is the first appearance of ultimate venom 33 which was his first appearance and I've got 37 and 38 which was just the other ones that this guy was selling with it then I'll move on to like I did a big big haul through forbidden planet in the UK and typically they are really good they're a little bit slower at the moment obviously we're still at the tail ends of a pandemic and they're still working with what staff they've got left but I got big comic book haul right here I've taken it all out and bagged and boarded them all unfortunately two of them have come damaged so I am sending them off as returns to get them replaced but that is Avengers number 43 so this is part of the Women's History Month books. So this is Jen Walters, obviously She-Hulk on the front. Um, it's Jen Bartel, the artist, one of my favourite artists at the moment. She does a lot of covers. She's just done a new cover for the Amelia Clark's new comic book. I think that's Mother of Madness, it's called. She did all these Women's History Month comic books. So you'll see a few more of them in this haul as well. I got a Fantastic Four cover that came out a couple of years ago. I absolutely love her stuff. Her art style is just absolutely gorgeous. Follow her, out, follow her on socials, at Jen Bartel. And the other one that I got, which arrived damaged, was Star Wars The High Republic, issue one. First appearances for a whole bunch of characters, because obviously it's the new High Republic. Huge Star Wars fan. I wanted to read this run. Also, I wanted to collect it, because this money already in a 9.8 is going for like close to £100 at the moment. So, insane money. This has come with a tear at the bottom and a tear at the top. Look at this, camera doing its work. So yeah, unfortunate. High Republic issue two, High Republic issue three, High Republic issue four, it's a great cover that, and High Republic issue five. War of the Bounty Hunters issue one variant edition. This is the action figure variant edition for Boba Fett. This is a gorgeous, action figure variant that we've got looks great so glad that i actually managed to pick one of these up because these were getting kind of difficult to find in a lot of places then again another jen bartell one this is black cat obviously felicia hardy this is black cat issue four look at that artwork absolutely stunning great artwork she's done a load of these i picked up the ones that i could for now i'm going to seek out the rest of the collection and I might end up sending them for grading if they're all sort of worth it. But Miles Morales Spider-Man issue 24 through 26. So this is the new Miles Morales clone saga. So we've got 24 there. 25, the start of the clone saga proper. 26. <coughs> so this has got Peter Parker and Miles fighting against all the Miles clones that we've got at the moment. This one is not the wraparound. So you got Miles at the front. And then on the back, we've got the three clones that we've seen so far. So they all seem to be changed in different ways. Like this one's huge, like the Hulk. You've got one that looks more like a spider with six eyes and stuff. And then this guy who kind of looks like 2099. Again, another Jen Barthel one. This is, this is Ghost Rider. So this is our new Ghost Rider that we've had introduced recently. And I'll finish off with the last Jen Barthel one as well. This is... Black Panther issue number 24 this has got Shuri on the front look at that artwork look at that dress that she's wearing absolutely stunning this one was interesting I had not seen this one before I ordered it this is like a big big issue as well like this is a chungus of an issue Peach Momoko variant of Black Panther look at this like traditional artwork style like that looks gorgeous this is part of the fine art variant collection black panther 25 variant edition marvel stormbreakers next generation of elite artists stunning absolutely stunning this is berserk issue one this is the new keanu reeves co-wrote comic book this is the forbidden planet variant i think the artwork on this was amazing like i said it came Came a little bit battled up and it was very bent. I've managed to straighten most of it out now, but it's not a big deal. We'll get over it. Time to get into whatever this is going to be. 
It's not come boarded, it's come bagged. This is Spider-Man Miles Morales issue 27. So we've got a split cover here. We've got Miles on one side and we've got his evil clone on the other. Cool artwork, cool cover. Okay, onto this box. I believe this is going to be a lot of Green Lantern stuff. I'm... The box has come awfully bent and stuff. It's clearly not the best box to be putting stuff in. It's barely held together by tape. So hopefully it's not been damaged too much in transit because this, they all the books looked in perfect condition. It's a bit like bloody Fort Knox getting in this box. Okay, I think we're in. We're in. We're in. Blackest Night. I already own a copy of this one. It's mostly for the other books that I got this. So this one I'll be selling at some point because I've got my own copy on the shelf. Which if you checked out my last video, good plug. If you checked out my last video, you would have seen it there. So this is the Green Lantern core tie-in. More cosmic side of the threat as opposed to the main series followed a lot of the heroes as well as Hal Jordan on Earth tackling a lot of that. So... Okay, so we got Blackest Night Batman, volume uh, issue one of three, number two of Batman. It's Batman fighting zombies, isn't it? We've got two copies of Superman, issue one of three, different variant arts. So you got Zombie, Superman in Smallville, and then you've got Zombie Superman over Jonathan Kent's grave. That's a menacing cover right there. Two copies of issue two. We got a black lantern there hovering over an almost dead Supergirl. Then we got issue three. We got Superman, Crypto, and Superboy fighting off hordes of zombies. We'll take that. Tales of the Cause, issue one, issue two, and issue three, which these are all connecting covers let's see if we can make this look somewhat connecting are we ready Eesh. look at that yeah look at that artwork got all all the cores fighting together you got what seven cores there in total you got the jsa blackest night issue one issue two and issue three again connecting covers blackest night wonder woman issue one written by greg rooker Issue two, where she's fighting Mira on the front. So that's a Black Lantern Wonder Woman there. But then we've got Star Sapphire Wonder Woman right there. She gets a pink power ring. Nicholas Scott on art as well. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's that. Onto this final box here. This big box is from Forbidden Planet as well. Not a sponsor or anything like that. It's just we don't have many comic book stores in the UK. And not a lot that do like up-to-date stuff and you're able to order online and stuff like that easily one mailer two mailer okay I feel like this might be the manga in here, so let's open this one. Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Part 4, Volume 2. Come spick and span. Can't wait to read this while I'm on holiday. This looks absolutely great. Can't wait to read more of Part 4. This one is Part 4, Volume 3. So we got Volume 2 and 3 here. Absolutely cracking. Yep. They've arrived. Perfect condition. Ooh, this one's got a few dings on the top, but that's definitely from the storeroom, not from transit. Take that out of that bag. Come, you can't communicate. Volume 2. I've also got Volume 3. Should be arriving later today from Amazon, I think. So... Like I said, I'm going to stick with this a little bit longer. I've got other people that want to read this as well, so... Okay, we've got two copies of this because I definitely want to send one off to Graydon if they're in good condition. Which... They look okay condition. Obviously, they need to ship over from the UK, make it through the store and stuff. This one's in great condition. That one's in great condition. Let's 
put that down gently. X-Men issue 21 by Jonathan Hickman. I believe this is apparently the first appearance of Kevin Feige. There he is. First appearance of Kevin Feige in comic books. Let's go. I'm going to bag and board these right now. This one is looking in some minty condition, so let's get that sent away next time I do a submission. Fresh. Fresh. Two copies of it right there. Boom, boom. We got Heroes Reborn, issue one. Then Heroes Reborn tie-in. We've got Night Gwen right there because alternate versions of Gwen seem to always do amazing, so I thought I'd pick this up just in case there's anything... Anything happens with this character. She, she looks like Batgirl. She really, really looks like Batgirl. But Gwenpool and Spider-Gwen do amazing. This one is the first issue in this run. This is a chongus of a book. Um, first appearance of Daywalker, I think, which is like this version of Blade, I assume. So this is a second print in. I couldn't get a first print in. This is Future State Teen Titans. So this has got a load of new versions of Teen Titans, and also I think this is first Red X in the main continuity. Joker issue 2 says also featuring Punchline, but I believe this is the first appearance of Bane's daughter, or first cameo appearance of Bane's daughter, who seems to be a big player in this Joker book going forwards. Move all this out of the way. On to the last one here. I think this might just be one big book. I don't believe there's anything else that should be in here. But I could be mistaken. Nope, this is one big. It's not a hardback version, this. I thought it was a hardback with it being an omnibus. Christ, that's a chungus and a half, this. Immortal Hulk Omnibus 1. That is a big book right there. So this collects Avengers 684, which is the first appearance of Immortal Hulk. And then Immortal Hulk 1 through 15. So this is 16 volumes in one i've not read hulk in absolutely years so i wanted to check out some hulk i've heard great things about this story as ramifications going forward so that's everything at the moment like i said i've got komi card communicate volume three coming later on today but that's pretty much it other than the stuff that i also sent off this is absolutely like probably the most i've ever had delivered in the sp a short space of time it's a lot of me speculating and a lot of me wanting to read some new titles and stuff like that stuff that i kind of want to hold on to add to the collection some stuff that will get sent off to grading some stuff we'll wait to see what happens with the characters when i get my non-faulty version of high republic issue one that will be going off for grading that marvel 21 will be going off to grade in first appearance of kevin feige that that was a big old unboxing wasn't it uh, let me know what your favourite thing that I unboxed today was, what you think I should order in the future. Just let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the previous videos. They've been doing so well. Chef's kiss. Thank you for all the love and support. And I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to follow the Twitch and the podcast. They'll all be linked after this.